Sunday met us with a brutal and stinging cold, but it was unlike Jacob to give up when he knows work is to be done. Feels like it's trying to walk. Okay, then leave it. Throw it in. Is that buoy away from the rope? Yeah. So if I start it up, it ain't gonna catch? Nope. So 17 to 13. It's four foot tall. Four foot tall. Four foot tall, it's a car, guys. Let's go get dressed. Oh, we are. Yeah, we're dressed. We're good. So let me go get my gear on in the SWAT vehicle that the county, Jefferson County has given us. I'm calling it a SWAT. It's a special, it's a special, uh, what do they call it? special forces. Special yeah. forces truck. <laughs> no. a response team. It's an emergency response team vehicle. We're gonna go into the SWAT truck. I'm gonna change, I'm gonna go dive this and uh, hopefully bring Karen home and uh, help the FBI with another case. Thanks guys. Special thanks to Jefferson County Special Ops team with their vehicle to uh, allow me to get dressed and warped. Donning his undergarment and dry suit, we marked the cars and into the icy cold Ohio he dove. Choosing three more targets that would most likely match hers, he slid down the magnet marker lines. With disheartenment, he had to say that the three targets were also not Karen's. Toyota. Right, make us wrong. Yeah. No plates, no nothing. Continuing on to the Ford that was discovered, Jacob began to work his way around the vehicle, looking for any other details that would give proof of registered ownership. <laughs>
While no such things were available, he was able to clear the vehicle, lending even more suspicion to the sheriff's current theory of the missing owner and how the vehicle became to lay where it rested. Is that a stick? Huh? Yeah, it's a stick. It's a stick? Yep. Okay. I can't find no identification on it. Huh? 7.3 diesel turbo stroke. Searched all around it, searched in the back. I didn't realize the damn top was off of it. Oh, really? Yeah, I was inside the truck and I was like, oh, well, I'm inside the truck. Yeah, we can go ahead and pull the magnet. After I get the scuba boogies off of it, <clears throat> keep diving. It's not worth the stop. As you guys can see, it's raining, snowing, sleeting. We're getting out of here. I just want to tell the Adams family that uh, we will be back and we won't stop till we find her. Thank you guys for all your support. Love each and every one of you. Thank you. Lindsay, thank you for helping. <laughs> so, I ran the trolling motor. One of you. Keep diving. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. With the frigid weather settling in even deeper, we knew we had to stop for safety reasons. All of the vehicles in question will be removed when the warmer weather is upon us as long as it is safe for us to do so. The search for Karen Adams will continue and reinforcements brought in if necessary. She has been added to our case files and Karen Adams will not be forgotten. We would like to express our sincerest thanks to the law enforcement of Jefferson and Belmont counties, the FBI, as well as the Toronto Fire Department. Their faith in our ability to recover Brian and Joni and the resources they allotted to us were insurmountable. Jefferson County also made sure that there were officers provided to us for safety purposes, as well as bringing their special operations truck to help to provide shelter from the weather.